So let's look at our fourth question. Now, we have some questions here and it's going to be marvelous for us all. Looking at this one, don't forget that this is what we have already derived. We will be reading it, that is why it's still there. In fact, the question normally states this for you, but do not state this for you. Okay. So now looking at the fourth question, if you want to solve this, don't forget that always from question one that we have been solving currently, we always want to achieve the one plus here. So here, to achieve that one plus, we know that the numerator here is the same as 2n plus. Now watch, watch, watch. Are you watching? Very good. Very good. Now, we know that the, the numerator here is 2n plus 3. But I want to get the same as what is in the denominator here. So, I write the same one here. But that means that I have taken one from the what? The 3. So, it will be left with what? 2. All this over 2n plus 1. In fact, we haven't changed the question. The inside is the same as this. Just that we have split one from the what? The three, and we now have one plus two. Now, we can put this in a bracket form. And this one we have here is the same as 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1. Then plus 2 over 2n plus 1. All to the power n plus 1. <laughs> Very good. Hope you guys see what we are putting on. Now, we can now achieve this one. We can now achieve this one because this and this will cancel. So we get the limit. As n approaches infinity of 1 plus 2 over 2n plus 1 all to the power n plus 1. Very good. So looking at what we have now. Okay, so we have been able to achieve this, but this is still not yet. None of this. So what should we do? We know that here is always related to a power of what? n or this, but this, in this case, this is n plus 1. But we are going to apply to this right now. Please watch me right now. We know that a raised to the power n times a raised to the power n is the same as a raised to the power n plus n. If that is the case, watch. If that is the case, then in the same way, we can rewrite this as the limit as n approaches infinity of watch how we can see from here 1 plus 2 over 2n plus 1 taking this as the a then we raise to the power n and now multiply by 1 plus 2 over 2n plus 1 raised to the power 1. In fact, this is the same as what? This. From your, our idea in what? In this. Is very good. <laughs> yeah, let's move on. And with this, we can take the limit 10 by 10. Is that clear? So here we get the limit. The limit as n approaches infinity of 1 plus 2 over 2n plus 1 raised to the power n times the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 plus 2 over 2n plus 1 raised to the power 1. 
Yes, we can do it as such. Very good. Now here, straightforward. You can see something here that here we can take the limits of the one and we are going to get one. But the limits of this, let me let me show all the steps, okay? So the limit as n approaches infinity of one plus two n plus one. Yeah, the limit of a constant is the same as a constant, so 1 is the same as 1. Plus, here yeah, we take the limit as n approaches infinity of 2 over 2n two plus 1. Hope you guys see that. Very good. And this one will go 0. Yes, don't forget. This one will go 0. If you want us to show, you can show it, alright? It will go zero. Because you divide, in fact, this is from calculus, so you are there from calculus, so I don't show anything. It's, it's going zero. Because this one will be something like this 2 over n, then 2n over 2, plus 1 over, sorry, over n, then here 2 over n, alright? So this will cancel this. But if this go infinity, you get here zero. And here we have here to what? Two plus. And if this go infinity, this will be what? Zero. So you get zero over two, which is zero. A woman can see a constant over whatever the limit is zero. So here it's going zero. So we have the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 plus 2 over 2n two plus 1. Then it's multiplied by 1 because here is 1 plus 0. 1 plus 0, which is 1. Alright, so here is where we are. Oh, ah, this thing is very important to me, and I forgot to write it. Very good. Now here we are. What can we do in order to get it in this form or that form? Simply follow me. So I would like to play this part. I hope you are writing it. I'm not only writing it, but you have to understand it. I split one of these. This three is one plus three, the same thing. And we can split this. In this is. Now here we can let y to be equal to two over two m plus one, and as n approaches infinity, y will approach zero. Then we make y the subject. Sorry, we make n the subject. Then we make n the subject. So making n the subject, we know that that will be y multiplying 2n plus 1 is equal to 2 by cross multiplication. So we get 2ny plus y is equal to 2. You see that? To, to make n a subject, we get 2ny is equal to 2 minus y. Now divide both sides by what? 2y. 2y. This cancel, this, this cancel, this. So n is equal to. Let me come here. n is equal to 2 minus y. All over y. I don't write all over y. We can write this as 2y. We can write this as 2y. This cancel this. So n is equal to 1 over y minus this cancel this. Very good. I love mathematics. I hope you also love it. Yes, you love it. Now, our n is this. Our y is this. And as n approaches infinity, y approaches zero. We are just going to do substitution. So let's do substitution. 
Oh, I would like to do this one. Okay, let's go to this part. Make sure you pause the video right at that place. I'm going to, I'm going to clean it. I want to take my time to be explaining these things to you. So, by substitution, I have cleaned the thing up. We have something like. I have cleaned it up. But I think we have, we have something like the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 plus. 2 over 2n plus 1 all to the power n. I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure. Multiply by 1. That is it. So by substitution, let me check before. Oh, yeah, that is it. So by substitution, we know that the limit as y is no more n, y approaching the root. 1 plus, the whole of this is y. So we are approaching this form, this format. And the n is what? Mm. That is 1 over y minus 1 over 2. Ah, this is a nice question. Very good. No, we can still apply indices here. We want to be in this form so that we can see that it's equal to E. So how come? We know that and still we are using what? Indices. A raised to the power M over A raised to the power what? M. So in this case, it will divide. In this case, it will divide because of the subtraction there. So we are going to get the limit as y approaching the root, 1 plus y, 1 over y, I hope you can see that. All this over the limit as y approaching 0, then 1 plus y raising to the power 1 over 2. Ah. Now, with the one down here, or with the one in the denominator, we can take the limit. But here, we know that is exactly what is here. By definition, this is equal to E. The numerator is equal to E. We are left with the what? The denominator. So, to take the limit of this, wherever you see y, put 0 there. 1 plus 0. 1 over 2. And with this, simply, we get E. Simple, simple, simple. I hope it's clear. And you know the value of E is 2.17 something something. Very good. I trust the understanding is clear. And it should be clear because I took my time explaining things to you. Oh, the fifth question. Oh, the facts. After solving this, you should be able to solve this. So try that, try that. Try that on your own. So we have the limit as n approaches the 1 plus 2n, n plus 3 over n. I want to talk to you. You should be able to know what I'm doing. Here will be 1 plus 3 over n. You are good, you are good. You should be able to agree. <laughs> Alright. So we can apply the same in this system, right? Good. And we can say that the limit as n approaching the limit. Hey. One plus two n over one times the bottom of the plus. The same This 
person will just eat it. So the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 plus 2n. The limit as n approaches infinity of 1 plus 2n. The power 3 over n. Now here you can see that this we can take the limit straight forward. Alright? Very good. But you can also apply another concept also. But this one too will work. This one too. When you try to solve it this way, it will work. I would like you to continue with it. Continue. Let me answer. All right. So as as y is equal to sorry as s as n approaches infinity, y will approach what zero. All right. Very good. So here we let we let. We should have let before stating this. We let y to be equal to 2n. That means that n will be equal to y over 2. Over 2. So by substitution, we are going to get the limit as n approaches. And it's not going to be n approaches, but y approaches 0 of 1 plus y power 1. And the limit as y approaches 0 of 1 plus y raised to the power 3 over n is what? y over 2. Very good. So having this, then we can see that here, when you do the substitution of this, you are going to get 1 plus 0 times the limit as y approaches 0, we want to be in this form, so that we can say it's e. 1 plus y, raised to a power of, and with that one, you are going to get 6 over y. In fact, I don't want to be doing that, 3 over 1 times here, you get 2 over y, so you get 6 over y. So with this, you get 6 over y. So, you know. 6 over y. Alright. So here, the one multiplying this is the same thing. So the limit as y approaches 0 of 1 plus y raised to the power 1 over y. But so we can factor this 6 out. And when we factor the 6 out, the whole of this is e. So our final answer is simple. 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 I hope you can see that. Very good. Very good. Alright. So what is left? That is all for this question. Thank you. See you in the next video. In case of anything that you don't understand, make sure you play back, play back and you get it. Thank you.